Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Before I get into this video, I have finally changed devices, so I'm on uh, a different filming device where both cameras actually work. The quality is not as good, so I apologise for that in advance. Trying to focus it now, I can see it's not as good. The zoom's not as good for the vlogs, but you've got proper audio, so it'll be less annoying when watching. But anyway, this video is about a brand new signing that Barnes and made this morning. I'm currently away trying to make this video, and I'm trying to make a Nottingham Forest vlog later with a few clips one of my mates sent in. But I'm making this video as we announced the signing of James Norwood this morning before um, the open day kicked off. I'm going to read the article, give you my thoughts, all that scenario. You give me your thoughts of the signing in the comments. And um, also like and subscribe if you're new. But here we go. Barnsley Football Club is delighted to announce the signing of James Norwood on a one-year deal with an option of an additional year. Personally, I thought we maybe get him on a two-year deal straight up. But he is um, 31, I do believe, so we're obviously not wanting to commit with him too long, just in case his legs run out on us. The experienced striker joins the Reds after most recently being at Ipswich Town, where he bagged 28 goals, contributing to his overall tally of 168 career goals in four of the 42 matches. So he's had some experience up and down the EFL, that's for sure. Starting out in his hometown, Eastbourne, the 31-year-old began his career on the south coast of England with Eastbourne Town before moving to Exeter City. A two-year spell with them impressed by numerous loan spells led our latest recruit, recruit to Forest Green Rovers in 2015. Norwood helped Rovers achieve their first ever conference premier playoff spot and left the new lawn with 50 goals under his belt. It was at Tramney Rovers where James found his hottest form to date, ending the 2018-19 campaign as a joint top scorer in the English football with 32 goals, only matched by Sergio Aguero. So yeah, he was on fire that year, basically. His efforts helped Tramney to League One promotion and a place in the Sky Bet League Two team of the year. He left Brenton Park with 89 goals and secured a move to Ipswich Town, so he's obviously slowly worked his way up by impressing. Portman Road was the most recent home for Norwood, despite an injury and Covid affected spells with the Tractor Boys, our new addition managed 28 goals in 88 appearances. He becomes our sixth summer recruit at Oakwell and will link up with Michael Duff's squad ahead of our Skybet League One campaign. Our CEO Kelly said we are pleased that James has made the decision to come to Oakwell. He arrives at Barnes with a solid understanding of League One and everyone at the club extends their warmest welcome to him. Norwood spoke and said, I know it's a big club, but I haven't I haven't been fortunate to play against Barnes in my career, but I'm really looking forward to getting started and I'm proud to wear the shirt. Our latest signing is available to sponsor. Welcome to Oakwell, James Norwood. So yeah, it's um I've seen mixed opinions on this. A lot of people are saying obviously it's the older recruitment that we don't normally go for and um, we should be looking for younger players, but then at the start of the season when these new people took over they said they're going to try and sign some impact signings rather than people that we're going to um, impact on the squad in two to three years. Personally, I think it's a very, very good signing. Uh, we lost Woodrow, we lost um, Morris, we need strikers. Uh, obviously, he's had injuries, he's 31, he's knocking on a bit in the football retirement age. But he has been up and down the EFL League, like I've just told you with his um, league record. And also... Um, he scored some goals, he's had some experience, and I think he'll add quite a lot to a team. Um, from what I've seen in the clips, it reminds me of the old Corley Woodrow that we had, just scoring goals in the 18-yard box, whether it's just on edge of the box, or it's a tap-in, or it's a rebound, or it's a penalty. He seems that type of player, he's quite small, he's not, he's not going to get up and win your headers. I don't think he's going to get in behind and outpace everyone, but in and around the box, he's going to win them scrambles, and hopefully stick home then one touch first time chances so i'm looking forward to it as long as we can sign another striker to go up front with him or at least come off the bench and help him whether he starts with cole or isaac or Aitchinson, whatever it is um we need another striker next to him definitely personally alpha may be perfect or we've been linked with luke jeffcott the plymouth striker who has been on fire for them last year next to ryan hardy up front cam if you're someone watching this video and made it this far you'll know about that we'll be linked with him we also got linked with, um, I forgot his name, Ra I think it was Ryan Summer, uh, Portsmouth player that were on loan at, um, no, Peter would play that were on, on loan at Plymouth for centre mid, but we've been ruled out for signing him. But yeah, I'm happy with James Norwood. Personally, it's a one year contract with two year extended. I thought it'd be a bit more, but obviously they don't want to risk him at his age. But I think it's a good signing. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. Uh, our sixth summer signing. So let me know what you think about it in the comments. If you are new, like, subscribe, and I'll see you for the Nottingham Forest vlog. Bye bye.